going to my first ever open house that my broker has set up. So that was very informational. I learned a lot and I got to shoot some content and they have really nice view too. A little bit more about the house. It is on sale for 4.995 million and it is a single family home. It has four beds and four baths. The description of the house is renovated Hollywood Regency with explosive head on DTLA and West Side City Light views. Refurbished period steel windows and open truss beam high ceilings enhance scale and volume giving way to very light and bright move-in ready transitional interior design. Expansive patios and pergola covered decks permit the perfect indoor outdoor california living in the quiet hills above just minutes away from all the shopping and dining los Feliz and hillhurst are known for spacious four plus four on just under eighteen thousand uh lz with a permanent engineered sport court ideal for basketball pickleball, soccer, hockey rink, or whatever your heart desires. Architectural plans for infinity pool and huge deck are RTI included. There are three levels to it. Um, the area is in Los Feliz County, Los Angeles. The year built was 1936 and it has been updated and remodeled, of course. So this is the very front of the house. When you enter the property, there will be a beautiful brick stairs and walkway filled with a lot of greeneries and plants. You will need to step down on the brick stairs, but you will be greeted with a stunning view of Los Angeles. Now, do you see this beautiful dark green entry door? It really brings out the personality of the home. And when you walk in there, there will be an alarm system that will notify when a person is going into the home, out of the home, and I noticed that each door throughout the home is designed to alert, and if anybody is going in and out of the house, they will be notified, which is extremely helpful since the house is huge. And when you enter, to the left is the living room, and you do see a peak of the stunning downtown LA view. Straight ahead is the dining room and the stairs to go up. And to the right is the kitchen. Next to the kitchen is a hallway, which will lead to the bathroom and office space. So first room I went to is the office space, which can be converted to another bedroom. Look how stunning this built-in shelves is which is really great for an office space and who doesn't love to have shelves for organization i know i do and the sun was shining in los angeles today so the sun brings in a lot of light to the space which is great as well now right when you get out of the office space in the same hallway to the right is the bathroom look at the antique silver faucet showing personality to the home and keeping the classic hollywood vibe to it this could be used as a guest bathroom so if any guests and you're hosting a party for example this will be the bathroom to use pretty ocean blue tiling in the two or even three person shower i do apologize for the shaky video i promise it will get better on in the video i promise um, so when you walk out you see the stairs leading down to the basement which we will visit later on the video to the right is the kitchen again because the windows are so big the kitchen space is filled with great lighting and not to mention a great view of downtown Los Angeles it's such a unique view the kitchen has two ovens a unique brown fridge that I have never seen before truly classic with a unique twist of modern with their appliances you would have never known that thing was a fridge. I see modern dishwasher, a kitchen island, a lot of windows, an exhaust fan on top of the stove, and modern microwaves. Lots of storage space which makes it a great family home and not to mention a great place to host. Imagine your guests coming over and walking into this kitchen and you see that beautiful view of Los Angeles. I mean, who needs a painting when you have that? Now, I'm walking into the pantry room, which is uh, 
it's with a built-in shelving. This is why I say it's perfect for family. Just imagine all the adult snacks organized in one shelf, the kids snacks organized in another, one area for the junk food, and then another area for the nuts and granolas. Imagine. Now we are walking toward the classic beautiful view and do you see that sink, right? There are two outlets so it's perfect to charge your device or plug in for your ninja to make a smoothie so it's major key. Then right to the left you do see the dining space. Again, amazing natural lighting. Just imagine nighttime with the city lights and you're eating dinner. Wow. I love that they put this rectangular huge mirror to extend the space. And I need to say that this is a great place for pictures and videos. And to the left, you can come right out to the patio or leave the door open when you're hosting a party. Now, right now, I am walking upstairs, which will lead to the three bedrooms and two bathrooms that's upstairs. What I love about the house is the wooden floors throughout the entire home, especially if you have pets, you know wooden floors are preferred. Um, but downstairs in the basement, it's actually concrete, which is even better. Um, so, okay, let's walk into the first bedroom upstairs. Again, nice natural lighting since the windows are huge. Look at the stunning open truss beam ceilings that was mentioned in the house description. This is also a pattern throughout the rooms, really adds some characters to the home. From this bedroom, you will see the stunning view and the basketball court in the backyard. Look at the huge window. Okay, when you get out of that bedroom, to the left is the first bathroom. Can we talk about the stunning bathtub, sink, the silver faucet, as well as the white tiles? It's giving very classic Hollywood and I am here for it. Behind the sink is the same material steel that we saw in the fridge. Not to mention, if you don't want to bathe, there is a walk-in shower with a glass door and a huge shower head, which I will show in three. <laughs> Two and a half. One. There you go. Okay, now we are walking into the second upstairs bedroom, which is the master. Oh, and there is a window overlooking the front entrance of the house so you can keep tab on who's outside. Okay, so entering the master, again, the open truss beam ceilings with candlelight chandeliers, so beautiful. It fits a queen or a king bed as well. There are two huge windows and bam, a view of downtown LA and palm trees. When you look at the window, there are solar panels as well. So once we get out of that view, you do see the left side. Uh, so to the left, to the left, and we are walking into the walk-in closet space and lots and lots of space. Um, there's a his and her space. So the bigger one is of course for the wife. <laughs> And to the left is the master bathroom, upstairs bathroom. Very modern with gray tiling and the stunning tub. And if you don't want to bathe, there's a glass shower with glass door and his and her sink. Two tall windows overlooking the palm trees. So if I wake up, and go straight to this bathroom and I see those palm trees, my mood will instantly be, be lifted. There's also a little peek of the city scene from the other window, which will be shown right now. Again, nice lighting throughout the house. 
because of the huge windows. And here is another side of the master bedroom with that nice beam ceiling and wooden floors. And you do see those two windows facing the front of the house as well. And now we are walking into the third upstairs bedroom again open trellis beam ceiling and I love that each room is filled with huge windows and overlooking the scenery which is the main selling point right so this could be used as the kids room as well as the first bedroom upstairs that we looked at um, and I just love how big the windows are so you can see the outdoors and the palm trees just all around nice lighting, natural lighting. Okay, so we are walking out of the third bedroom and right in front of that is a tall window overlooking the front. So right beneath is the front door. You can see the stunning tall greenery for privacy. You can't really see the gate because it is hidden by the trees. This is a security system from a company called Pyle. P-Y-L-E, it could be uh, a camera for security system and also an alarm system that produces sound when somebody enters in and out of the home. So you will see that throughout the home as well. And to the right is a closet space and a modern thermometer as you can see. So right then you see that 70 degrees. And then now we are making our way back downstairs, back to the living room. So now we are in the living room and I can't wait to show you guys the patio which is my favorite part of the home. So the living room would not be complete without the fireplace of course and not to mention the huge sliding door overlooking the city and overlooking the patio. Again, windows throughout the sides, each sides. Okay, now when you open the sliding door, you will enter the patio with a pergola up top and a nice teal chandelier. It's super nice for hosting, having family over, or just a nice way of relaxing. So to the right of the patio, there will be steel stairs going down into the basement area. This is where the fire pit is located with a bunch of outdoor furniture. It's so perfect for hosting a party during these cold winter months. 
Talking about winter months, LA has been real cold lately, like East Coast cold. So a fire pit would have been perfect and it's such a game changer. And you can still see the stunning view of downtown Los Angeles and those two palm trees just, ooh, chef's kiss. Now, going back into the house again, into the basement, which is also my favorite part of the house, my second favorite, because it is quite a different vibe to the vibe upstairs, or then the vibe upstairs. Upstairs feels very family homey, but basement feels very bachelor pad -y. Again, big sliding door and huge 360 windows for maximum natural lighting. Again, stunning city view. When entering in, this could be a room for your bill billiard game, billiard game, and a poker game. Then a few steps up, you have your lounge area or second living room with another fireplace. And I think that it's a bachelor pad area. What do you think, guys? And you could see the concrete concrete floor that I was talking about, which is different than the vibe upstairs of so the you know wooden floor. Okay, so now we are walking to the fourth and final bedroom, the only bedroom downstairs in the basement with wooden ceiling and an aluminum pipe, which really brings out great characteristics. This bedroom is extremely spacious, even bigger than the master bedroom upstairs. This is perfect for a teenage kid or even for me actually. And look at this stunning full-size built-in mirror. I would take outfit picture here every single day. <laughs> and just great lighting again. Okay, walking off the bedroom, we are walking through the laundry area. You can see there's the modern dryer and washer. Then to the left is the fourth bathroom and the only bathroom in the basement. Sink again is classic Hollywood vibe and the glass door shower with huge sour head gives a modern twist to it. What's unique about this bathroom is the pet door for your dog or cat. When walking out of the bathroom and walking straight to the hallway, the wall is concrete and the floor is concrete, giving the vibe of a bachelor pad again. And then more storage to the right area then BAM you're out of the hallway again straight to that fourth bedroom and to the left is the living room again now we're going down and going to the left there's a sliding door and this will take you to the side of the house There's stairs that will lead you up to the front entrance. And then you can also step down to the backyard and to the basketball court. Here's the side view of the house and the nice big sliding door. And now we're making our way down the stairs to the basketball court, or it could be a soccer court, pickleball court, any type of court that you'd want. Here is another view off the back of the house. And the back of the house looks very modern from the back. The backyard does not need to be a court or a basketball court, any type of court. It can be actually renovated into grassy area for a more green feeling. Um, and I will show you guys a picture of it right now. There you go. So it's this backyard area is great for hosting and there's a little outdoor open shed area that I will show you right there. So you can meditate, you can pray, 
you can just exclude yourself have some alone time to read it's the perfect place to be by yourself I love that the house is not close to the next door neighbor. As you can see, the adjacent house is quite far in distance. Again, this is the view of the core, or if you want to renovate it and make it into a grassy area, you can do so as well. Okay, so heading up the stairs again from the basketball court, we're gonna make our way to the front entrance of the house. We will need to walk on this beautiful brick walkway. And voila, you are back to the front of the house again. Um, isn't this house so unique structure-wise? Like it feels so homey, like family style from the front, but party bachelor pad from the back. <laughs> Alrighty then, um, we are nearing the end of the tour. So I'm walking up again toward the gate, which is hidden by these greeneries and trees. Perfect for maximum privacy. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. Bye!